Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Borderwise and welcome back to From the Depths Deja Vu Edition because the last video started almost exactly like this one. But it's not the same video, no, you are not seeing double, you're not, uh, we haven't gone back in time and you're not watching the same video again. This is the prequel slash sequel to the previous video which was about uh, AI propulsion controls. The reason that this is more of a prequel than anything else is because this is about ACB complex controls. Basically how to control the behavior or movement of a vehicle using ACBs and complex controls. Which has been in the game for a while but I only discovered it comparatively recently and it has changed my life. I love it so much. And so I'm very happy to share it with you in what this uh, in what is hopefully a very short tutorial. So to start off with, we have the same thing that we uh, started with uh, in the last video. We've got this thing that uh, has the potential to fly, but it's not flying yet, or even moving yet, except bobbing up and down, because it's made of wood on water. But, uh, and we could do exactly what we did last time, which is uh, place a whole bunch of thrusters on it and, you know, let the AI sort it out. But it's still a perfectly valid option to do something along the lines of this and I'm just the only reason I'm actually no let's not do that let's not do that uh, let's do this so I have here a prefab for a whole bunch of ACBs and I'm going to explain these ACBs right now so what firstly to start off with you need to understand what on earth a co complex controls are so to start off with let's we'll drop a thruster down here so whoop, huge jet engine so Q, we have this new menu right here, but then we have the old one. So, this menu here allows you to assign complex controls to a particular thing on your craft, which is propulsion components. So, normally what you can use this with is a complex controller. So, this thing. So, if I go here, complex controller, do that. And what that allows, so if I go here, and I go, say, K, if I hit K now, the thing moves. Okay, so very simple. Well, it's called a complex controller, but to be perfectly honest with you, it's not that complex. Okay, you can stop now. You can, you can stop now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Not yet, please. Okay, so that's how that works usually. But ACBs can trigger complex controls. And so what we have here is five ACBs, each one of them controlling a specific uh, attitude of the vehicle. Attitude just means thing, behavior, movement. So the first one is altitude, and it doesn't actually matter a huge deal which uh, value you, like, stick with which, uh, what, what am I saying, value? What uh, letter you use just so long as you're consistent and on the same craft. In this particular case, if the vehicle altitude is below 500 meters, uh, it will activate the complex control T. And so T can be applied to a thruster on the bottom, which I will try and put directly on the center of mass and I cannot do that, so that, that sucks for me, I guess. So let's just do this and hope for the best, because that'll demonstrate the need for the next thing we're going to do. So now we're below 300 me 500 meters, and so we're going to lift off into the sky. Now that's not perfectly aligned with center of mass, so the thing's going to tip forward, which is no good whatsoever. And so we have to you put the other ones on it as well. So the next thing we have is pitch. So this controller if the vehicle pitch is between uh, is greater than zero so that means if the thing is pitching oh god so I can never remember these straight off the top of my head if the thing is actually if it's tipping forward okay then all right so if the thing's tipping up this will activate the combat key H so let us do that right now I'm just going to use the thing is tipping up I'm going to stick right here. Whoop. Two jet engines. I'm going to have that controlled with H. And this one is the opposite. It's G. So, if vehicle pitches within is below zero, 
as in it's pitching down, it'll activate G. So what we have here, we're going to set this up and just click that and click this twice. And so this will cancel out. So if the thing... So when it needs to pitch up, these will turn off no matter what. That's the main reason you want to do this. And do that. And the opposite down here. I just forgot what they were. Green G, red H. So. Now we are elevating and we're pitching correctly. It is a little bit rocky. So immediately, like, this isn't a flawless uh, alternative to a PID system, simply because craft are a lot more rocky if you use them like this. Okay, so that's very good and all. So now we'll just add some turning thrusters on here. So, one, two, three. And we'll do this. And no, we can't go on our merry way yet, because if we do this, that actually holds it quite well. Damn my good balancing. So in any case, roll is still something you need to worry about. In fact, I'm just going to do something along the lines of this, because I want this thing to turn sharply. Do, do, do. One, two, three. Right, this thing is going to turn like crazy now. Not usually advisable. So, okay. Damn it, I want this thing to roll over. It's not doing it. Oh well. So in any case, roll controls. And in this particular case, I'm going to stick it like... So, I'm going to super glue little wings on this thing. Just because I can. Do, 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 do. Doop, doop. Doop, doop, doop. Eh, we could probably do that. Yeah, we'll do it like this. We'll do it like this, I say. Doop, doop, doop. Doop! Okay, so, we've got one facing there, one facing there. And the roll! So, I always forget this because... And also, I keep forgetting that I've that this prefab has the number set like this. So, if vehicle roll is within, is what is it? What's it? Is between ten and ninety degrees, and that's from the front. I've realized. So, just visually trying to imagine in my head, ten and ninety degrees. It'll activate U. So, this one is a U, like that. And what's the other one? U, J. So, this is green U, red J. I might get this wrong. And then this one is a... Like that. And then the opposite. So, what's this one? Green U. So, red U. Red U, green J. Jeez, I hope that's worked. Well, let's activate movement and see what it actually no. No no no, we need to set up the AI with a maneuver routine. Do do do. All we're gonna do is this. And there you go. The thing is wow, this thing rolls a lot better than I thought it would. Actually, let's do this. Let's be fussy. Let's be... Fussy, 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 fussy. Fussy, there we go. So now you see this thing is flying quite well, and the result is exactly the same as what I showed last time. Uh, with, what do you call it? With the, just the new AI control, propulsion controls. The difference is, is that when you set it up with ACBs, you can do this. So you can turn it off and it will still fly. It'll still maneuver because a lot of the propulsion is being covered by ACBs. Also, we don't have enough juice in this thing. So I'm gonna add more juice. There we go, we got more juice. It's also, that just doubled its cost. 
Okay, so that is the simple way to describe it. Is just you have you just assign altitude, pitch, and roll uh, with the complex control keys, and have ACBs set up to activate them when certain conditions are met. So in this case, it's things like roll or pitch angle. In fact, and you'll notice this thing is bouncing along quite merrily. It's actually moving quite a lot. Uh, that is something that you can also you can also stick a PID on this just to smooth it out a little bit. The great news about using ACBs for this is that they are idiot proof. When the condition is met, they activate. That's pretty much it, really. So, in any case, so there are also one more advantage of using this kind of thing, and that is you can stick. Uh, roll in pitch thrusters in interesting locations that you can't, or at least I think you can't, uh, using PIDs or the or the regular AI controls. I think. I haven't tested this myself because I'm not good enough with PIDs to work it out, although I could have tested it earlier. Oh well. But it's really simple to set up craft that look uh, like this. So, we're over here... Funcraft. Oh, there's great things in here. This is the Bobbycraft. And you might be wondering, what the hell is this thing? And you'd be right to say that, because honestly, what is that? What the hell is this thing? Well, the Bobby Stick, and I just call it that because it bobs around a lot, is interesting because the pitch controls and roll controls are on these kind of masts. And so, what you see here is that this is a pitch controller right in front. So, G to D, G and H, the usual way I set it up. ACBs are right here, so where's that pitch one? There we go, so vehicle pitch is when thin blah blah blah. Pitch. Oh, hello. It's over there for some reason. So, G and H is controlling pitch, and those thrusters are pointing forwards and backwards. Which... I, this is the simplest way to set it up with ACBs. You probably can set it, actually let's test that right now. Let's delete all these and set them to... Do, do, do. That's all right, that's all well and good. If I delete all these now, will the thing pitch right at the... Yep, the regular AI doesn't appear to be able to handle it. Or can it? Nope, it can't really. It's not flying nearly as well as it did before. It wasn't flying particularly well before either, because it just doesn't know what things to use. Nope, not working. Sorry about that, Bobby. Let's spawn you in again, all healed and stuff. Yeah, and the roll thrusters are on the sides. So this is a very useful trick, and... I don't remember who told me about this, but whoever they are, thank you so much, I love you, to getting to getting particularly narrow craft to roll properly. You can stick it up like there. That probably works with PIDs as well. I don't remember, but it works really well with this ACB method. And as an example of something that I have uh, made that work with, we have our old friend the MC Lechwan which uh, featured in, well, didn't feature, but it featured in the Don't Panic video I made earlier. It uses roll thrusters like that, because it's a very narrow craft, it's also quite small, it doesn't really have room uh, for efficient roll uh, propellers on it, so it has them on the sides, on these little keels right there, and that works very, very well. Okay, so that's about it for uh, this kind of... Uh, for ACB complex controls. Despite the name, they are one of the simplest things to set up in this game, and like, this ship right here, the bulk of it was made within an hour, so no tedious uh, mucking about with the center of mass or anything like that, no uh, so waiting it so that it doesn't roll over, because the ACBs just take care of it. It's very simple, it's very powerful, it's very good. Even now, with the new AI update, it is still very effective to use ACB complex control, simply because, like, you can get your craft to stand still, and then they, these props still move. As ever, the best thing to probably do is PIDs. I myself don't like PIDs, and I know a lot of you think that's weird. That's fine. It's just my preference. There's too much mucking about with not, without knowing where the end is in sight. That's fine. So, hopefully this video was helpful, and of course, 
Uh, I'm just going to spawn in a crap load of planes, so uh, we have something to blow up. Uh, dusters. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Is this going to lag my... Whoops! I didn't expect you to spawn right there. Yeah, this is me mucking around now because I'm actually finished a lot sooner than I expected. Where's my Bobby? Bobby! Where are you? Go here. Let's hang out on you, Bobby. Whee! Bobby's helping! Thank goodness those missiles have uh, friendly fire turned off. And by that I mean there's a thing that turns off, that cancels out friendly fire. Wee! No, I'm not. I'm totally not setting this up for the thumbnail. Shush. So, in any case, so that's it for ACP Compass Controls. That's freaking hell. That was shorter than the last tutorial I did. I'm getting concise, people. So, in any case, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And I will see you next time in From the Depths tutorial stuff, I guess. Farewell!